today because this bitch is subway. Say hi to Karen. Say hi. I will. You will be my ass. I will. You need to go back there and do your job. I will. Do your, do your job. Do your job. Do your job, bitch. Do you y'all want this woman to make your food? She will not make my customers food and threaten to beat my ass with her racist ass. Come on out here and do your job, bitch. You got the right motherfucking white girl. Somebody call the police, sir. Can you call the law? Why not? Surprise here, Care Care and this gentleman who serves the country will not see eye to eye. She's one person, and I'm willing to wait for their food that she's refusing to make. So, you won't call the law? Okay, well then serve your country and sit right on right there. I bet you got that vaccine too, didn't you? Again, a man who serves his country then gets called this for doing his part in saving human life. Yeah, you Democrat, socialist, commie bastard. Hey, don't oh. you damn call me no commie bastard. I took it because bad lungs run in my family. Well, I pray to God that you don't get hurt because that shit gets old. It kills old people. It kills people with uh, heart diseases and bad lungs and stuff. But thank you for serving our country. I appreciate that. And I'm going to pray for you that the vaccine don't hurt neither one of y'all. These folks are literally speechless. She still ain't making this food. Lord have mercy. This is J.C. Corner, badge number 37. Your incident number is right here, 21-006940. So the video cuts out. The cops get called and Karen says the following. Okay. She bit me. That's a felony. $80 glasses. My face. Are you going to the magistrate? I am going to sue Subway now because the bitch scratched my face. Well, she's now changing her story from biting, which requires the use of teeth, to scratching. Per the Daily Dot, the Virginia woman named Sarah Sutherland uploaded a portion of the footage herself under the account babygirl underscore 685. Sutherland says she's a mother, small business owner, and consultant in Virginia, according to the website linked on her TikTok profile. That website brings us to this, where she wrote in part, I am a fan of food, travel, coffee, and outdoors. I am also a health, weight loss, and beauty consultant, and day trader, and real estate wholesaler. I am always ready to help change lives. Wow. Some TikTok viewers were skeptical, though, asking if it was a scratch on her face or simply evidence of bad skin care. Other viewers urged Sutherland to share the full footage and called her out for editing out the part where she insulted the soldier. Some viewers allege in the comments that Sutherland works for Uber Eats and was at the subway to pick up an Uber Eats order. The Daily Dot was unable to confirm this. After disrespecting the soldier, just patiently waiting for his food, viewers criticized her for her behavior toward him. So she's disrespecting a soldier because he's vaccinated, a viewer said? The fact that no one agreed with her. Another wrote, respect the military until they disagree with you, a comment read. Is it any surprise that this Karen echoes Queen Karen Laura Ingram on the disrespect of the military, calling them woke and socialist? Not really. Virginia Sutherland is just taking cues and following in the footsteps. And here's the thing. The S-word has become an all-purpose epithet that Republicans use to describe everything from an influx of undocumented immigrants to the supposed teaching of critical race theory to vaccine mandates. Somehow, however, Republican spending bills or tax hikes are never socialist, only Democratic ones. As far back as 1952, President Harry S. Truman was already complaining that socialism was a scare word they have hurled at every advance the people have made in the last 20 years, including Social Security, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, agricultural price supports, and other New Deal programs. Naturally, Medicare and Medicaid were also denounced as socialized medicine, even though Republicans now pledge to protect both programs. What became known as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was described by segregationists as the Socialist Omnibus Bill of 1963, and so on. They love Lincoln, right? Under the great Republican president during the Civil War, the first U.S. income tax was instituted, which could be called a kind of socialism. But if it is, America went socialist in the 1860s under the commie Lincoln. And I quote, the legitimate object of government is to do for a community of people whatever they need to have done, but cannot do at all or cannot so well do for themselves in their separate and individual capacities. Those things included he wrote, public roads and highways, public schools, plus the machinery 
of government itself. Son, I grew up in free America. Nobody has the right to mandate me to do a damn thing. And I'm sitting in my Ford F-150 that ain't registered, and I don't have a driver's license or car insurance, and I never wear a seatbelt, and I drive as fast as I want to drive the speed limit, but damned. And when I see a stop sign or a red light, I just keep on going, because no one's going to tell me a damn thing what to do. Boy, I don't know what goddamn country you were born in. But I'm from the U.S. of A. That stands for freedom, goddammit. And I don't appreciate none of you goddamn liberals telling me what I can and can't do with my life. All I need is Jesus and a rifle, my shotgun and a Bible, and my silver Ford F-150, and a cup to spit my chew in. <laughs> nah, look. What's up, everybody? It's Jackson White, co-founder and chief of content at Politoscope. And thank you for choosing TYT today. Now, that was pretty fun. But as my man pointed out, I mean, we literally live in an ocean of mandates. Think of all the things that you can't do that maybe you would do if you could only get away with it. When was the last time that you could just walk into a store and, you know, just walk out with something in front of everyone without paying for it? When was the last time you could just beat somebody up in public? When was the last time you could, I think, as my man pointed out, just run a red light? You know what? Screw this weight and screw traffic safety. Who cares? You know, when was the last time that, you know, uh, there, you know, when regulations weren't in place, you know, when OSHA wasn't around so that construction uh, wasn't more guaranteed to be safe? Or what about all the mandates and, you know, the medical industry that makes sure that physicians and, and, and other people and practices follow certain steps to make sure that people stay safe? But of course, when you're a tough guy like me from Texas, you don't put up with no BS from the goddamn government. You do what you want, spit your chew wherever you feel like it, and you pull up your britches and go outside. Like, you know, but, <laughs> but of course, these are the people, unfortunately, that we talk about all the time. They vote a lot, and they vote a lot, and they vote a lot. And the Republican Party and the Republican media sources are taking full advantage of, you know, just the messaging of all oh, those Democrats are trying to mandate you to wear a mask. God! Or, you know, maybe you need to get the vaccine or whatever. And, you know, we've talked plenty about that. But, you know, it's pretty ridiculous to act like, you know, we live in a country that just, you know, you can just wake up and do whatever you want. Because clearly that ain't the case.